Good evening, YouTube. How's it going? I saw this one on the news last night. I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that this actually happened. In New Orleans, last Friday, I believe, I think it was. This guy is in a convenience store called Quickies. He's having chest pains. And an ambulance is called for him. I'm a little unclear if the store people, if the people working in the store called it for him, or if he had a cell phone and called them himself. But an ambulance was called. The ambulance shows up. They go get the guy. They put him in the back of the ambulance. They're working to get him stabilized. Now the ambulance is parked there in the middle of the lot with the lights going. And a store employee comes out and puts a boot on the ambulance. Driver doesn't know this has happened. He gets in the ambulance and tries to drive off. He finds himself with a flat tire. They had to call another ambulance to come transport this guy. And fortunately for all concerned, he turned out all right. He didn't have major problems like it could have been. But what kind of an idiot puts a boot on an ambulance with the lights flashing? Isn't that kind of like a police car pulling over an ambulance with the lights flashing because it's speeding? I always figured when those lights were going, they could do whatever they want. The other item I read about just a few minutes ago Apparently there's this thing going around, people are saying that country singer Shania Twain is the great-granddaughter of author Mark Twain. Well, there are two problems with that right off the top. First of all, the man's name was not Mark Twain. His name was Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain was his pen name. Second of all, he didn't have any great-grandchildren. Samuel Clemens had a son who died at two. He had two daughters who died before they were old enough to get married. He had one daughter who got married and had another, and she had another daughter, that would be his granddaughter, who died without having any children. The other obvious problem is the fact that Shania Twain was not born Shania Twain. She was born Eileen Edwards. She got the last name Twain when her mother remarried and her stepfather adopted her. She changed her first name to Shania in about 1991 when she went into show business. Neither of them is related to anybody named Twain. So if someone sends this to you in an email or posts it on Facebook, do yourself a favor. Don't make yourself look like an idiot. Either delete it or just comment that it's not true. But whatever you do, don't pass it on. Until next time, I'm 3L. You're not. Have a good evening.